Hi guys, in this video, we're going to talk about five things you need to worry about in the DX section, which can help you improve your scores on the exam day. Point. So pointer number one is the cutoffs. I bol bol ke thak gaya. Trust me, people are still following the scale score, considering them to be the raw score. Raw scores are different from the scale score. Look at the last paper. Download the last paper from cting.com slash cat and try to solve it. I can bet on that you won't be able to solve more than three to four sets. Impossible to score more than three to four sets. Fine, by an average student. Fine, the level of difficulty is really high. So because of the cutoff will drastically go down. I am seeing articles where people are recommending to do six to five to six sets correct in the DI section out of eight to get 99 percentile. तुम छः यार तुम तीन करके दिखा दो उसमें से छः तो दूर की बात है फाइन सो आई पर्सनली फील द कट ऑफ इज गोइंग टू बी मच मोर लोअर देन दैट फोर क्वेश्चन करेक्ट इज एटी परसेंट आइल सिक्स क्वेश्चन करेक्ट इज नाइन्टी परसेंट आइल एंड एट क्वेश्चन करेक्ट इज नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट आइल कट ऑफ के नॉट गो बियॉन्ड दैट बिकॉज एवरी ईयर द पेपर इज डिफिकल्ट नॉट कमिंग फ्रॉम टूडे सिंस टू थाउजेंड फोर आई एम लुकिंग एट दिस पेपर कैट टू थाउजेंड फोर टू टू थाउजेंड एटीन इवन ऑलमोस्ट फोर्टीन ईयर्स द लेवल ऑफ डिफिकल्टी इज ऑलवेज हाई so you need to worry about that part so download the paper last year you understand what i'm trying to say that's the point number 1 the cut off is going to be lower so that's all correct so do four question correct i have to touch two sets i'll do eight questions out of eight question if i do two or three wrong minus then the negative marking kadabiti karke i'll score around four plus question correct which will be 80 percentile so to get six question correct i might have to attempt 10 to 12 questions so not only attempt here it's your accuracy it's your problem you have to handle that I'm talking about the correct. Eight question correct is your ninety nine percent time. To do eight question correct, you have to do minimum three to four sets, and that's my main point that you cannot do more than four sets in the CAT exam. Attempt four four sets only. So in which case study will keep separate. I will be launching a D day workshops for uh, three workshop for quant, verbal, and logic for talking about the strategy part. So let's keep them separate for the time being. So that's your point number one. Point number two, DI logic section is the most difficult section of the CAT exam. Talk to any of your friend last year. Download the paper of last year. You will understand what I am talking about. Fine. So, but if you try to solve this paper as a test, you will find it very very difficult, obviously. But if you try to solve these kind of questions, these questions by looking at the solution, after looking at the solution, you will find them to be very very easy. So it's not difficult. It's a different kind of question which are coming. There's something I need to worry about. I need to focus on that. CAT paper has evolved to a different type of question: chess-based question, investment-based question, tournament-based question. I need to go through all the different type of questions possible so that I can perform well in that exam. That's my point number two. Point number three is a new paper pattern question. Out of eight sets, four sets will be totally new. You're looking at those kind of question for the first time in your life. For example, for the other exam, if I talk about the Narsi Monji and Mat exam or Snap exam, puzzles are the typical puzzle which are coming every year. Mat is based on the five people going to five country wearing five color shirts. That's the typical set you will see in all the exams. Cat, you will never see that kind of a set. Out of eight, four sets are totally new, which you need to worry about, which you need to take care of. So practice as much as you can. Whichever mocks you are giving, whichever tests you are taking, try to find the different type of logic. and their approach their understanding the chart because understanding is the most important if you understand you can easily solve two question out of four so main problem is understanding so you need to understand the well set well fine so um, that was the point number 3 which is talking about the paper new type of question point number 4 is the quant based di none of the students is going to focus on those areas because there's a new type of question obviously so down to the last year we understand what i'm trying to say last year there was a paper question based on pnc you need to understand the logic plus you have to use pnc ka scales to solve that question fine so quant based logic quant based di you have to focus on that it can be anything time speed distance time and work pnc all these kind of question so if you have a sitting in the green books there are quant based di question which are there i want you to solve those question so that you understand the approach pnc based question you are a profit and loss based di so all these thing you have to worry about And point number five is fill in the blanks and case lists. These are the two topics which I can bet on that that you will see definitely in the CAT exam. So if I can practice these two areas, fill in the blanks, type DI and uh, case list based DI, so that I can score more marks. So case list based DI 
is basically they'll give you a case, they'll give you some data, you have to use the data, understand the data and then solve the question. So that's fairly a new type of question which is coming in the CAT exam. Again, that's available in theory taking uh, green books so that you can solve those questions to understand. Fine. So these are the five things you need to solve for the day section. And trust me, the most important one is the cutoffs. Number two, the difficulty is not difficult. It's a different type of paper because of that people fumble. Number three, the new type of question which are coming. Number four was caselet based DI and the fill in the blank based DI. And number five is the quant based DI. So these are the five things you need to take care of while giving your preparing for the DI section and in the exam as well. All right. So do subscribe to the channel in case you want to get more updates. You will find a circle somewhere, one of the sites. So, so that you can understand or you can see more videos which I'm going to upload in the future. All right. So all the best. Thank you.